When people talk about QCY wireless earbuds, good value, good quality, affordable wireless earbuds usually comes to mind. So when I came across this pair on AliExpress, which comes with DANC and gaming mode, my fingers quickly hit the buy button so that I can actually test them out. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel basically focuses on testing and reviewing budget and affordable wireless earbud to help you to decide before you hit the buy button. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. Now the QCY HT03 wireless earbud retails on AliExpress for around 35 US dollar. But of course, from time to time, there would be crazy discounts. If you're interested, I've included a link in the description below so that you can actually check them out. So I've been testing the QCY HT03 wireless earbud for about a week now. And before you go out and hit the buy button, here are the top three things you should consider. And towards the end of this video, I will include audio tracks to demonstrate the microphone quality of the QCY HT03 wireless earbuds. Now, before we dive deep into today's topic, Let's look at you know, the basic features of this earbud. Firstly, the product name is called QCY HD03. It comes in two colors. The one I got is sparkling black, and the second color is light blue. The dimensions are 57 millimeters by 19 millimeters by 53 millimeters. The charging case weighs about 32 grams, and the earbuds weigh around nine grams. There are touch controls on the earbud stems. It comes with ANC and transparency mode. It uses USB-C fast charging port. It utilizes Bluetooth 5.1 technology using the Realtek chipset. The earbuds has 10 millimeters dynamic drivers. And so far as I know, there are no IPX rating. Let's talk about the case. Now the shape of the case is somewhat similar to the AirPods Pro, just that it has shorter width, taller case, and rounder sides. The top and bottom of the case has a narrow breadth so that it actually allows the case to stand up straight. When placed among other wireless earbuds I've tested, the HT03 doesn't really stand out. Other earbuds such as the Basis WM01, Xiaomi Redmi Buds B Pro, and even the CKFN F18 wireless earbuds. But still, it retains somewhat an overall elegant and simple design. The charging case is actually made of hard plastic material, a glossy finishing with sparkles all over the case. So it's definitely a fingerprint magnet. At the top of the lid, spots the new QCY logo. Besides that, there are no other logos on the case. Nice. For some of you who are a minimalist when you, when you go out, here is how the case looks like in your front pocket. And here's how much space it takes up in your fanny pack or handbag. At the back of the case is a physical button to do a reset, and at the bottom of the case, you'll find the USB-C port. To access the earbuds is pretty easy. There's a depression just above the LED light, which is the lid. The lid has a snappy spring, which allows you to open and close easily with one hand. Once open, the earbuds sit half exposed. A red LED light between the earbuds will light up for about two to three seconds, and then it will go off. Holding the earbuds in my hand, they feel pretty well built with a bit of weight, and the earbuds follow the same finishing as the casing. Now, if you examine the earbuds closely, you will see a, a small flat surface. Now, that is actually the multi-touch control area. Now, let's talk about the first major thing to consider about the QCY HD03, and that is the battery life. The HD03 utilizes USB-C port. After you plug in the charging cable, the LED light at the front of the case will light up in red color to indicate charging. When it's fully charged, the light will go off. The battery sizes for both the case and the earbuds are 380mAh and 40mAh respectively. The company claimed that the earbuds can last up to 6 hours on a single charge, and the case can provide an additional 21 hours, giving the users a total of 27 hours. On my own testing, the earbuds lasted around 5.5 hours on music playback at 100% volume and 6 hours at 50% volume. Both are with ANC on. So I'm pretty sure you will get more mileage with ANC off. Talk time on the HT03 was about 5 hours. For mixed usage, it lasted around 4.5 hours, and that is actually 3.5 hours on music playback at 100% volume with ANC off and one hour talk time. When the earbuds are at 10% battery level, a triple beep will remind the user once every three to four minutes that the battery are in low battery status. The case takes around one hour to charge the earbuds from zero to 100, and it takes around two hours to fully juice up the case from zero to 100. Overall, I would say that the battery life performance is pretty on par with what the company claims. Now let's move on to the second major thing to consider, and that is it's the day-to-day -day functionality. 
The initial Bluetooth experience with my Apple iPhone 12 mini was an absolute delight. Once you open the lid, you will see QCY HT03 pop up on the Bluetooth menu, tap on it, and it only takes about 2-3 to three seconds to complete the pairing. So do let me know in the comment section below if you wish me to do a separate video to show how to do the pairing for various devices. The QCY HT03 is actually pretty easy to wear due to its ergonomic shape, and since the shape is pretty similar to the Apple AirPods Pro, it sits very comfortably in my ears. In terms of touch control, HT03 come pre-installed with the following commands, namely two taps for play and pause, three taps on the right side for next track, three taps on the left side to activate Siri or Google Assistant, a long press of 1.5 seconds on the left to toggle the ANC, a long press of 1.5 seconds on the right earbud to toggle gaming mode. The touch controls are very responsive. It actually allows me to put my phone away and just toggle with the controls. For those of you who want more controls, you'll be thrilled to know that it comes with the QCY app. Now, the app is free and it is the QCY's own in-house app. Within the app, you can see the battery life, customize the control, including one tap, go crazy with the equalizer, you can toggle ANC, you can toggle gaming mode, you can update the firmware, etc. Though, do take note that in order to do the firmware update, you can only do it via a single earbud mode. Now let's talk about one of its main feature and that is the noise cancellation feature. As soon as you put the earbuds on, even without the ANC kick in, the in-ear silicon seal are able to block out some levels of environment noise and some wind noise too. Once you switch on the ANC, it kicks in instantly and immediately you can tell a huge drop in noise without even playing your favourite track. The ANC feels very natural. Constant noises like distant traffic, which motor hums, the aircon hums, and even you know background chatters will become much softer or even disappear completely. Sometimes, the ANC is so powerful that you can even hear your own breathing, especially if you're in a very quiet environment, like in your own room or in the library. The ANC also works great during my gymming and jogging sessions but still allowing you know, bicycle horns and bells to actually come through so that I'm actually well aware of my surroundings. Have a listen to the QCY HT03 noise cancellation ability. Pass through. ANC on. ANC off. When you switch to the transparency mode or AKA pass through mode, it will instantly emphasize all the sound around you and you immediately hear everything, which is not a bad thing. And I do find this handy whenever I want to listen to a conversation while listening to my music. If you wish me to do other types of ANC tests, do let me know in the comment section below. When it comes to like gymming, jogging and cycling, even though this pair of earbuds has no IPX rating, so far it has been fine for me. But I don't really recommend them for workout if you tend to sweat a lot as this pair of earbuds do not have any proper IPX waterproof rating. Still, I'd like to mention a few minor bummers which I encountered on a day-to-day -day basis. The first bummer is the lack of wireless 3 charging. Though it actually comes with USB-C and fast charging, the lack of wireless charging, it means I have one less option to reduce my case. But considering that the current wireless Qi charging technology is actually still slower than wired charging, personally, I hope that in future versions will actually include it. The second bummer is the ANC and transparency mode. Firstly, you're not able to actually adjust the ANC levels like those in the Sony and the Bose, even though you have the QCY app support. Besides that, you can refer to my previous video about the QCY HD03, whereby I talk about some wonkiness with the ANC feature during my first 24 hours of using it. The link is in the description below. For the transparency mode, though it actually amplifies everything, but I realized that when I was crossing the road, I was not able to distinguish the car sounds and their locations because everything is amplified. So I actually do not recommend to use the transparency mode when you're crossing the road. Now moving on to the third major thing to consider is sound quality. The QCY HT03 uses 10mm dynamic drivers and it supports both SBC and AAC audio codec. When listening to music, 
the first thing you will notice is that the overall music sounds a little bit muddy and warm, though soundstage is decent. Drum beats are somewhat more emphasized, while other instruments like, you know, like string instruments and pianos and guitar sounds, they tend to sound a little bit muddier. Vocals are okay, but male voices sometimes sounds like they are singing behind a plastic doll. The bass here in HT03 it's the first time I feel that it's, it's a love and hate affair. Well, when I was listening to EDMs with no vocals, it's fine. You will get those, you know, deep rumbling, thick, punchy, boomy bass. But once you switch to soundtrack with vocals, things start to go off. Certain parts, the vocals sound thin, um, details are sacrificed, and when I actually toggle the ANC off, surprisingly, the bass is being trimmed down slightly, and because of that, certain details like the vocals and the instruments, the sound separations, they become better. When it comes to watching videos through you know, YouTube and Netflix, there's no sound delay on whether it's on iPhone, Android, or on my laptop. Triggering the gaming mode actually brings down the sound latency. I've included the before and after. Do check it out. So, I will actually recommend the QCY HT03 for casual gaming. But if you're actually a serious gamer, I would still recommend you to stick to wired headphones instead. And finally, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will include a variety of sound clips to demonstrate the microphone quality of the QCY HT03 while it's earbud. Remember to put on your headphones. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. I'm currently doing a microphone test on the QCY HT03. I'm currently indoors in a, in a, in a room in my home. And uh, do let me know if you hear any background noises. There's actually some grilling going on, there's some construction going on, I have a fan uh, near me and I have some music playing in the background. So do let me know if you hear these noises. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. I'm currently doing a microphone test on the HTC 03. I'm currently walking along a busy road, so do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, this is Tommy here. I'm currently in a restaurant and doing a microphone test on the QCY HT 03. It's coming on, on ANC Talk Neutral Mode. Do let me know what you think of the audio quality. Hi everyone, I'm currently doing a microphone test on the QCY HT03. I'm currently walking around a shopping mall and it's currently on ANC off, neutral mode. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three.
Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the M1 MacBook Air built-in microphone. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. I'm currently using the QCY H203 wireless earbud to do a Zoom audio recording on my M1 MacBook Air. So do let me know what you think of the microphone quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. I'm currently doing a microphone test on the QCYH203. I'm currently indoors in my room and I'm doing a WhatsApp audio recording. There's a fair bit of noise going on outside right now. There's some uh, drilling, construction, I have a fan facing me, I have some music playing in the background. So do let me know if you can hear all this in the WhatsApp audio recording. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone, I'm currently in a restaurant and doing a microphone test on the QCYH203. It's currently in winter mode and doing a WhatsApp audio recording. So do let me know what you think of the audio quality. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everyone. I'm doing a microphone test on the QCY HT03 and I'm walking along the shopping mall. I'm currently, it's currently ANC off and I'm doing a WhatsApp audio recording. Do let me know what you think about the microphone quality. Uh, yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So finally, here comes the most important question and, and that is, are they worth it? Should you get the QCY HT03 wireless earbud or look elsewhere? Well, if you're actually looking for an inexpensive pair of wireless earbuds where it can actually play some music with some good ANC and a battery life of around 5 hours, then I think the QCY HT03 is a good option in this price category. But don't expect it to be the most refined at $35. US And there you have it. This is my personal view of the QCY HT03 ANC wireless earbud. I hope that it has helped you. If it did, it'd be great if you can actually smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share my content with the rest of your friends who are actually considering to get wireless earbuds. Or if you wish to share experience, do leave your comment below. My name is Johnny and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!